and let's look quickly at the DB2 server patch. Now in this particular one we'll look at the steps for this. The steps for this automation plan are to stop the uh, DB2 clients, to stop the instance on the DB2 server, to patch the DB2 server, start the DB2 server instance back up, and then start the clients back up. Now you may realize that after patching the DB2 server that in instead of starting the instance of the DB2 server back up that you may need to restart the server. So in that case let's say we want to remove step 4 and we want to go in and find the task that allows you to restart the server. So we find the restart endpoint task we add that into our plan. We can see it gets added as the last step. If you remember, I wanted to patch the DB2 server in step 3, and then in step 4, I wanted to restart the server. So that step that I just added is now currently step 5, so I have to change that to be step 4. So I just change the number to step 4, hit refresh sequence, and it's moved the restart of the server back into step 4. So now after patching the server, I can restart the server and then once the server's been restarted, it'll move on and it'll restart all of the clients. Now there may be cases where you want to specify a failure step where if a particular step has a problem that you may want to take some specific action. So let's say for example on step one where you're stopping the uh, DB2 clients themselves that you may actually want to uh, indicate if there's a problem with stopping the client that you may want to actually restart the clients back up. So that ensures that your service continues to run and you can go out and look and understand why one of the clients was not able to um, have its DB2 service stopped on it. So in this case we've added a failure step in there and we specified what that was. So building an automation plan like this allows for standardizing the steps to quiesce clients, patch a server, and then bring the clients back up. This automation plan can be used over and over again targeting different clients and server each time and you can also just substitute in a new patch to be applied to the server. With this type of standardization you'll see significant savings in effort and cost. So you can always start with any automation plans you already have, clone them, make minor changes for other similar scenarios that you wish to automate.